What we are doing now is we are trying to uh, use or to stimulate stem cells, because this is very fashionable now, stem cells. Uh, we try to stimulate them with the laser, so to call them to proliferate much in a, in a faster way and also to give them more energy, I mean, to enhance the ATP production in those cells. And what we, de what we do is our experimental model is actually we are inducing heart attack, and then we shine uh, on the bone marrow of the same animal, so autologous bone marrow. Those cells come out from the bone marrow in the long bones, and they go to the bloodstream, and from the bloodstream, they home specifically in the, in the heart, in the injured area. They don't go to a kidney or a liver, which is uninjured. Okay, so this, this is like a new approach for stem cell therapy. This is a, a platform for many other indications that we can actually, instead of taking out from someone the bone marrow, isolate the cells, grow them in tissue culture outside the body, having all the harm of growing these and agents that, are, uh, that they put into the tissue culture, we don't do all that. And then you have to inject it back, for instance, to the heart, a very complex uh, procedure. So we are actually uh, trying to take the route, which was the natural route, that these cells will help the body, but naturally they are not helping enough because there are not too much cells that are recruited from the bone marrow once you have a heart attack. If we stimulate them with the, with the laser therapy, then they do a much better job and they really reduce the scarring. So this is a new approach, non-invasive, and we hope that it will be a basis of a new approach to stem cell therapy.